hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl Amelie. i'm a nigerian content creator living in canada if this is your first time here you're welcome if you're an old subscriber thank you for your love and support guys if you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button i'm just gonna give you five seconds hit the subscribe button because i noticed that a lot of you are coming to watch my content and about 90 percent of you guys are not subscribed to my channel what's going on subscribe hit the subscribe button i'm not talking until you, <laughs> you hit the subscribe button so thank you for subscribing please like this video comment in the comment section share my content thank you for your love and support in my previous video i noticed about 136 people shared my content and i'm really really grateful thank you thank you for all the people coming in joining the youtube family i really really appreciate so guys some people have been asking me how much it costs for my family to move to canada as a family of three and i just have um a few things i put down here so if you see me looking at my phone it's just because i'm trying to like recall how much we spent so um i'll just be calling and explaining what we did right so the first thing we did is that i had to do my west evaluation because you need west and ielts to apply for permanent residence so i first of all did my west evaluation and west evaluation cost about 240 dollars and just the transcript like getting my transcript to be sent to west those logistics paying for my transcripts and all of that i spent 150 dollars so i spent a total of 390 dollars just doing my waste evaluation and it's different from every other person like your school may be charging maybe five thousand or five thousand five hundred to like get your transcripts to west but just the person helping me to do that I actually had to pay the person for his or his or our own time you know have to pay the actually paid two people the first person i paid didn't get the work done so i had to pay the second person so the total of those two money was about 150 dollars but if you can go to your school and request for your transcript yourself and just do the payment of 240 dollars for west then i think you won't spend as much as i did then my husband and i had to write ielts and I realized that IELTS in Europe is more expensive than IELTS in Nigeria. I think IELTS in Nigeria is about 68 to 72,000 Naira, but we paid a total of $701 to um, get our IELTS done in Germany. So the next thing we did is um, after the job offer, we had to um, apply for the work permit, right? And before you apply for your work permit, you have to do medicals. So the total cost of medicals, I'm just going to be saying the amount in dollars because I actually converted the amount from euros to dollars so that we can have all the total figure in dollars. So for the medicals, we paid $1,214 for our medicals. And this is just for the three of us. I think in euros, I paid $275 for my medicals. My husband paid $275 and my baby paid $225. And then we were sent a bill again to pay, I think, 60 euros for our blood test. So converted to dollars, we paid $1,214 for our medicals so we already did the medicals and medicals is valid for one year so we had to do an expression of interest to our province just stating that we want to leave here and I want you guys to give us a nomination to leave here and the, we paid 300 dollars for that for i know some provinces are different i think ontario pays like one thousand dollars for an expression of interest but for my province we paid three hundred dollars i think nova scotia also you pay three hundred dollars i don't know how much new brunswick pays but for my province we paid three hundred dollars for an expression of interest stating that we're interested to come to this province and after we got our it and all of that and our um we submitted all documents so i'm not putting all the documents we submitted because it's my own personal cost, like getting my documents sent to me, translation and all of that. I'm not putting all that because it's going to vary depending on what country you're applying for. Because I, I have lived in Ukraine and I've also lived in Nigeria. So I had to get some of my documents translated, right? But you coming from Nigeria or coming from a country that speaks English and English is your first language, you don't have to do all of those translation. And translation cost varies in each country. So I'm not putting translation in this cost of what we spent so um for the work permit application we spent 680 dollars for biometrics 
and applying for work permit for myself, open work permit for my husband, and a visitor visa for my son. So we spent six hundred and eighty dollars. And after our visa was ready, when we got the PPR request, okay, submit your passport to the closest VFS to get your passport stamped. We had to pay one hundred and sixty-seven dollars for DHL so something that dhl did that i found really funny was that they said they weren't, they weren't gonna put the whole package like my passport my husband's passport and my baby's passport we sent it in one package to them so when they were sending it back vfs said um they have their own private um way they send their documents back to clients and they are not putting all the documents in one package so we had to pay for my son pay for my husband and pay for myself for the documents to be sent to one address so we paid a total of 167 dollars for to get our passport back to our house address so after that we had to do a permanent residence application and this permanent residence application this is when we've already gotten our provincial nomination and like the letter of support right so we have to apply for permanent residence and the total cost for the three of us to apply for a permanent residence, you know, we already did the biometrics, right? When we're applying for the work permits, but I don't know, for some reasons, we also had to pay for biometrics again. They said that money is refunded, can be refunded, but it's refundable. And we haven't gotten that back. I've called twice. They said we're going to get, I think it was about $220 or $240. They said we're going to get a refund, but we haven't gotten the refund in about three or four months now but i'm not bothered about that so the total for the permanent residence application we spent three thousand one hundred and thirty dollars for the permanent residence application that's your right of permanent residence your biometrics and all of that as a family of three then our tickets when coming here we use con condo airline it was the cheapest we could get because lufthansa and other airlines wave they're just on the high side and it was really really expensive we we're seeing for about three thousand four thousand just one way ticket guys one way ticket so we had to use condo i think condo is owned by air Bel belgium also so we paid um two thousand three hundred and ten dollars for the ticket right and then we had to pay an extra luggage and guys when 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 coming we didn't know that um our luggages were much like we weighed them right but we didn't know that we we're going to pay as high as we paid so how it's done is that you get um um your flight is going to stop you probably at toronto or probably at maybe alberta or wherever you're going to then you'll get a connected flight to your own province so we had to stop at toronto and then get a connecting flight to pei so that connecting flight to pei we paid about 300 dollars for that or 350 dollars and then for the flight from um germany to toronto we paid about two thousand three hundred and ten dollars and for the extra luggage we paid nine hundred dollars and this extra luggage is both the the one we took from germany and the one from the airline in germany from the airport in germany to the airport in canada and from the airport in canada to the airport in charlotte town yeah so the total was about nine hundred dollars so the total for everything was ten thousand and ninety two dollars so we spent a total of ten thousand and ninety two dollars both for the planning the the flights the medicals the provincial nomination the work permit application the dhl the ticket the extra luggage and i'm just saying that the price varies right for my family of three we spent ten thousand about ten thousand one hundred dollars but for your own family depending on how you're coming the price may be different for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate and if you're not still subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel join the family i love you guys i'll see you in the next one bye